First here at 10, we begin with campaign 2020 and a number of key primary runoffs that will set the stage for November. That includes the Democratic primary for U.S. Senate. So let's get straight out to CBS 11's Jack Fink. He joins us now live from our CBSN Dallas-Fort Worth studios with an update. Jack? Well, Brooke, Democrats believe this is going to be a nail-biter this evening. In that U.S. Senate primary runoff, retired Air Force pilot M.J. Hager of Central Texas is maintaining a lead over longtime state Senator Royce West of Dallas. The winning Democrat tonight will take on Republican incumbent Senator John Cornyn this November. Hager raised a lot more money than West did, and she ran millions of dollars of TV ads across the state in the past several weeks. And around 8 o'clock this evening, West was trailing Hager by just 300 votes. And he told me earlier on our streaming service, CBS NDFW, that he had butterflies in his stomach watching the results come in. And during a news conference a short time ago, he remained confident. Now, I don't know how many votes are still outstanding in the urban centers from the people voting today. But I know that there was probably 45 or 50,000 in the Houston area. And uh, I've won Harris County thus far in terms of early voting. And I should be winning in terms of the, the voting today. Same thing in Dallas County, same thing in Tarrant County. And so depending upon how many votes are outstanding, I should be able to close that lead. So Hager maintains 52% versus West 48%, which is what we've seen all night. West has enjoyed the support of many Texas Democrats, while Hager received support from national Democrats who helped fund all those TV ads. Brooke? So, Jack, how, how is this shaping up the race for the fall? Well, no matter which Democrat wins, political analysts here in Texas and the Cook Political Report say this is going to be an uphill battle for Democrats to climb. They say Cornyn is still the favorite to hold on to his seat. He has said he's not taking anything for granted. And Democrats, though, say they're going to be fighting very hard for this. Brooke? All right, Jack, we'll let you get back to those numbers.